I look like a Somali pirate with a semi-regular finish. You try to get fucked with a glove? We need more ventilators. Pound two last name. That means rooster. There is at least ten thousand dollars in tickets. You'll be the handed. first ones released back in the wild because of your. All right, story time. You must be outside your cotton picking mom. So there was another story in the news this morning about those female high school teachers that fuck their male students, right? And frankly, as a, as a new boy dad, hashtag boy dad, these stories piss me the fuck off. Because I'm like, where were these unsung heroes when I was in high school? Have you seen these women? Some of them are NFL cheerleaders. NFL cheerleaders. Listen, I'm 31 years old, okay? My high school teachers come from an era when women believed that Johnson & Johnson baby powder is a feminine hygiene product. I'm talking about herds of bitches just dousing their pussies in talcum powder like Olympic powerlifting. Like, ladies, if your pussy cannot deadlift 400 pounds or dunk a basketball, why? Because, frankly, that is how you find yourself exposed to a medical condition known as struggle pussy. And for those of you who don't know what struggle pussy is, if I could describe it in a few words... I would say that it tastes like cold McDonald's french fries. Like, fellas, have you ever went down on a woman and suddenly tasted her unpaid student loans? Oh! Oh! It's a shocking experience. And you immediately get an attitude about it too. You're like, oh, 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 oh God. Oh, 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 oh. bitch. You don't get half or a deposit or something? Oh my God. Like you went to Everest. That shit is $49.99 a semester, bitch. Oh my God, like how many installments do you need? Frankly, this is some fiscally irresponsible pussy you have on your matter. And frankly, shame on you and on this pussy for not telling me before you put it in my mouth. This pussy don't pay bills. <laughs> uh, but the worst part about these stories, though, is how these women get caught, you know? So in the last installment of Mrs. Jones does junior high, this 17-year-old boy had a threesome with two of his teachers. Oh! Listen, in the teacher fucking business, okay, that is the equivalent of winning the Powerball, okay? That's an EGOT, Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, Tony, you got them all, drop the mic, Jersey, retired. Then this little nigga turned around and told his mom, You told your mom, bro? You told your mom you school shooting mother? You could have died a legend. Tales of your accomplishments told around the campfire by bearded wise men for generations to come. But you told your mom instead, bro. See, the worst part is he not only ruined the life of these two saints who 
true sole purpose was to just make dreams come true one teenage boy at a time. But he also fucked it up for the lineup. Because you have to understand, these are the dynamics in high school, right? There was probably another gang of little niggas just circling the wagon like a bunch of hungry hyenas. Talking about, yo, I heard Mrs. Clux is fucking. What? They were waiting their turn. But see me, I was a nasty little motherfucker in high school. I ain't no waiting my turn. I was the type of little nigga to just blackmail my way through the situation. Just walk up to this bitch after math class. <sighs> Mrs. Clarks, it's a nice job you got here. It'd be a shame if something happened to it, you know? Oh, you know why I'm here. You dirty old thine. 